This is a video that will show you some of the things you can do if you could add extra media to labs. So as you can see we're in the JHS environment and we'll open up one of the standard labs and there you see in green what I call the lecture part of it uh, followed by the blue are the uh, operation uh, sentences that have been put in by the lab designer, the black are the results and then of course where the flashing cursor is you can add your own information to your own interaction. So create a new lab in honor of the, the J conference in 2014 in Toronto in July. Good idea to go if or book into it if you haven't yet. And here we see uh, two interactive windows running next to each other. So on the left is the standard JHS with the information uh, that I want to play around with and on the right is my shape and type window where I can display some of the same information except that it shows up a little bit differently. So on the left you see the standard CCCC, the 4 by or the 2 by 2 uh, array, what that looks like and then on the right you've got the green squares indicating characters. Where this becomes important, and we'll see it right now, when you go to uh, a shape of 1 by 1 uh, in the standard environment, there's no difference between a shape of one by one or a shape of one in the way it looks. But you'll see a switch here, and there you go. You can see that now this is only a, a shape of one, not a shape of one by one. So the, the rank actually displays that way. You Similarly, with uh, zero uh, values in the dimension, you can see clearly where those zeros are and how they affect the shape. And of course you can assign a type, so for instance right now it's going to be a complex type which in the standard environment displays as you, you might expect. Now the, the variable is carried right over to the other one, uh, to the new environment. And uh, that's kind of useful. And I can change this now to a uh, extended uh, variable number. And uh, when I take a look at A now I've reassigned it and it's in red showing it's an extended and similarly if I make it an integer now that I take that X off and now the display would be going back to black as an integer. So two environments both running at the same time and interactive. Adding fractions in J is easy. You, you can, can also have the JHS on the left and, and on the right the be running a video in this case a video from YouTube that I had promoting rational arithmetic. So um, this pretty neat kind of a, a thing to be able to running a video to clarify a concept at the same time you're uh, doing something on the left and you can interact there. And of course this has got the standard JHS interaction. You can uh, use the usual REPL. And then wrapping it up you go back to a full screen which allows you to uh, be running J in the JHS environment just the way you'd expect. We can go back to again to the standard lab and we're back to the lecture followed by the operational statements and results.